Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title, and today's look is going to be a silver half cut crease with chunky glitter. If you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, please make sure to stay tuned to this video. And before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a like on my video, comment video suggestions that you guys would like to see. Also, subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification so that you guys never miss any more uploads. Um, this video was more like an eyeshadow tutorial, so I really didn't do the complexion part in the video, but I made sure to leave everything down in the description box below. Anything that I use, any products, any brushes, any utensils, any anything that I use in this video will be in the description box below. So make sure to leave it next to look down in the description box below for anything that you have questions about. Anyways, let's get right into this video. So now this black looks very, very, very intimidating. I know it looks very, very crazy and it's very unblended because I did not blend it out yet. So now I'm going to go in with a shade lighter than the black to blend this black out because we want it to be smoky, but we don't want it to be this smoky. Color of it, I'm going to be going in with this color right here and I'm going to be tapping that on top of the black. I'm not going to be swiping it on top. I'm going to be just tapping it on top of the black in order to blend it out and make it look a lot more seamless. So now is a very, very cute gradient of a black. It's like more of like a, I want to say a plum, more like a plum shade, more like, more like a plum look. And I really am liking it. I feel like it's going to be very, very cute when I put the silver glitter on top. So now I'm going to go in with a lighter shade. I'm going to put that right under my brow bone just because it's blended out. It's definitely blended out, but I do need to like light it up a little bit just because I feel like it's it just feel I just feel like it's another color missing. And with this color right here in the same palette that I just got done using, the Royal Affair palette, I'm gonna be using that and I'm gonna put it there right under my brow bone. And now I'm just gonna don't mind the fact that I ain't got no top on this, y'all. <laughs> okay, but now I'm gonna be using the P. Louise base in the shade zero, which is the pure white. This is the shade that I like to use for cutting my crease. I'm gonna do a half cut crease for this look, so I'm gonna be cutting a half cut crease and I'll be right back when I'm done cutting my crease. Okay, so crease is cut, period, y'all. Let me know if y'all wanna see a video of how I cut my creases because, yes, crease is cut. 
cut I would definitely make sure to do a video on it if you guys would like to see a video on it or maybe I'll just do one anyways because I feel like a crease cutting a crease is very very easy but a lot of people be having trouble with it and be having like a lot of questions and stuff so I think that'll be very very helpful though I may do that I in this shade right here it's the highlight shade in the back of Brazil palette it's like a little brow bone highlight shades but I do need some type of like a um a silver base for when I put my silver glitter on so I'm just gonna use this because I don't have anything else so I'm just gonna pack this but I'm not gonna put it on my whole lid I am going This shade right here, like literally right in the middle of the uh, Royal Affair palette. I'm gonna be using that and I'm gonna be putting that from the middle of my lid and not all the way to the outer V because I am gonna darken it because it's a half cut crease. I'm gonna put this from the middle of my lid to like third three fourths of like the outer V. If that makes sense. If you guys don't understand what I'm saying, just look and then you'll be able to. Starting at the middle, right where I ended with the other shade, I'm starting right there, and then I'm going a little bit to the end, but not all the way to the end. And I love this shade actually, it's like very, very cute. It's like a champagne color, but it has like a brown tone to it. So, this is extremely cute. I have these two shades on my lid, it's very, very cute. You guys can see it goes from like silver more like a silver with a little bit reflex of gold and then it just goes go back in with that brown shade that i use for my crease i'm gonna go back in with that and i'm gonna put that in the outer v because as you guys can see like you like you can see like it's very very um sharp right there and it's very unblended so when i put this shade right here on the outer v it's gonna blend this out and it's not gonna allow it to that I need to add or whatnot but this is very very cute already that I'm going to be using today I got these from Amazon I make sure to leave them down in the description box below where I, the exact link to them in the description box below I got 12 of these all in different shades different colors for a total of seven dollars definitely I love these glitters a lot I haven't used this color yet so I'm definitely excited to use it but it's very very cute all of them are like holographic has different reflex of different colors and so I really do love them a lot they're very they're very very worth the price and they're just real good like they're really good glitters i've used uh a couple of the shades already a couple of the colors already on different occasions i, also, I actually have um uh, a video of me doing the purple chunk glitters and i also have a video of me doing well what of me using the blue one as well so i make sure to leave those videos down in the description box below or you guys need to make sure that you check those out on my channel as well and here they go i'm trying to show y'all without pouring them out but before I add these glitters, I, you do want to make sure that you will 
hopefully this is the color that I want it to be. I was trying to find my actual silver, but I can't find it. So I guess I'm gonna have to just use a glitter glue before you go in with your glitters because if you do not use glitter glue of any sort, then your glitters will not stay on your eyes. I want the glitters to be it. And I don't want the glitter to be on my whole eyelid. I just want it to be like in the center. So more so where I put that gold shade at, that's where I'm gonna be putting my glitters at. So I'm just gonna place that glitter glue right on top of there. And I mean, sometimes I let the glitter glue get tacky. Sometimes I just go straight in with the glitter. But regardless, you do not want the glitter glue to dry all the way before you put the glitters on there because then it'll just be pointless of you adding the glitter glue. Because you're going to use a regular flat shade brush, something like this. Very, very simple flat shade brush to apply my glitters. I like this because it's angles. These are the lashes that I'm going to be using today. It's the um, I Envy brand. 3D I Envy brand. Y'all know I get all my lashes from the beauty supply store. So I got these from the beauty supply store. And it's not my first time trying this brand. But it's definitely my first time trying these this style. So I'm definitely excited to be trying these on today. You guys can see they're not the 25mm. Which is what I usually gravitate towards. But y'all already know I don't really go, uh, I don't really wear 25 millimeters when I'm doing cut creases and stuff like that. So I'm going to be putting these on today. I made sure to leave them down in the description box below, like the actual brand, the actual style, how much they cost, and everything. Make sure to leave it down in the description box below. So I'm going to add these onto my eyes, and then I'll be right back. They're in the shade foam to highlight. I'm going to be doing the all-in-one method for this for today's beat or whatnot because honestly, it's the quickest way to do your makeup, and also it's the easiest way to do it. So I'm just gonna put this in the highlighted areas. Y'all already know how we do. In with the super Maybelline Super Stay Foundation, and this is in the shade 356 Warm Coconut.
I'm gonna go in with the Black Opal Foundation Stick in the shade Suede Mocha to contour my contoured areas. And so now I'm going to blend all of this out because I look very, very crazy. Very, very crazy. So I'm going to blend this off off camera and down be back when I'm about to get ready and do my little lash line and apply my lips. Okay, y'all. So as you guys can see, I did everything off camera and I'm looking so much better as I was before. I'm going to make sure to leave everything that I used down in the description box below because I did not do anything on camera. Well, I did show y'all what I was using before I actually started blending out. But yeah, I just blended everything out and I also said everything so that the video could be a lot shorter because I am working on making my videos a lot shorter for you guys because I know y'all be thinking my videos be way too long to be a makeup tutorial. Okay, so I already put black liner on my waterline just because I wanted it to be smoky. I didn't really want to do like a lot of color when it comes to like my lower lash line and all of that. But I did want to go ahead and put my um eyeshadows like the eyeshadow colors that i put that i'm going to put on my lower lash line i want to do that on camera so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with that black i'm actually going to just set that black liner with the black eyeshadow so that it can look a lot more smokier so i'm just going to be using that black from the bh cosmetics palette again and i'm going to be like i said using that to smoke out and also to um to set that black liner To give it a lot more color because you don't want to just be black i mean you can do just black that's what i usually do but i feel like i want to add a little bit more color into my lower lash line i'm going to go back in with this shade right here and then i'm just going to put that below the black on my lower lash line Right, so now that you guys can see everything is pretty much done and now i have to do my lipping which i already know i'm gonna do my classic nude lip i think i want to do a matte because i usually don't do mattes that much i always do glosses i don't know i have to see because i love nude lip glosses so i probably need more towards a lip gloss but i'm about to go get my lip products and i'll be right back when i'm about to get ready and apply my lip products so now first i'm just going to go in with a, a regular brown lipstick meaning a lip liner this is my, my favorite lip liner to use to line my lips when i'm doing my new lipstick my new lip combo this is by nyx i forgot exactly which shade it is but i'll make sure to leave it down in the description box below per usual Alright, so now I got my lips, lip liner and it looks very crazy y'all, but I love this lip liner. It's like, it's like a mixture of a burgundy and a brown and I really do like it a lot. I use this every time I'm doing either a gloss, a regular clear gloss and a lip liner or even if it's a new lip gloss and a, um, a clear gloss and a lip liner. I always use this 
exact shade and i'm gonna be going in with this y'all this is more like a pink toned nude and this is cute it's still cute but i need a new nude i need to give me a new new lipstick y'all but anyways i'm gonna go in with this because i actually do like this a lot but i just don't like it for every single look you know but regardless i'm gonna go in with this y'all already know i like to just put it in the middle because it creates the ombre effect I think I actually want to put some lip gloss on y'all. I always do this. Every time I find myself doing a new lipstick, I always want to go in with the gloss. So I'm going to get my gloss and then I'm going to just apply my highlight on my highlighted areas. And then I'm going to see you guys in the outro.